Hi, welcome to the print room at the studio at Spark. I'm Kay Brown. Come on in, let's take a look at what we have. Back in 2010, Los de Abajo Printmaking Collective uh, ended up not having a home. Um, Self-Help Graphics building was sold by the Catholic Church and it was just announced everybody that occupied the building must leave. So we were pretty frantic and uh, we sent out a kind of a group to see what we could do because we had huge presses. There were seven or eight of us. We needed to not just have a home but have a workspace. And one of the um, members of the collective happened to know Carlos and we were kind of thinking, well, that's a long ways away from East L.A., so we ventured out here and met with Carlos and uh, Judy and um, all of the people at Spark at the time and told them our condition and wanted to know what we could do. So what we did was we made a proposal to Spark uh, that we would provide at least two shows a year um, that we would um, encourage and make possible printmaking workshops um, and they accepted our proposal and we were thrilled. This is um, an oil transfer which is really easy to make and I'll show you a little later a couple of um, a couple of really beautiful portraits that a third grader, one was a third grader, one was a fourth grader, and um, this technique was started back in the 30s and uh, maybe the 20s, but anyhow, it's, it's a very fast way to do um, a print. The next one is um, a lino cut and the title is Which Side Are You On? And it's, it's I wanted to illustrate that you don't know which side that you're on until you hear the rest of the story. Of course, this is Land, Liberty, and Art, Emiliano Zapata. This is one of his famous uh, photos that I reproduced, but I made it contemporary with flip-flops. And Land and Liberty were the um, two really important things to happen in the Mexican Revolution, 1910. And then we add art, of course. This also is a woodcut. Um, I use a, a manufactured wood, so it's very, very easy to cut. It's like butter. It's really fun to work with. The next one is a nest, is a, um, a dry point that really has a lot of character to it, but the inking is part of the dry point process. And you can get very, very rich kinds of things happening like, like this and these nice, de delicate lines. That, the dry point is really, really useful. And I'll skip the next three and I don't want to walk you in behind. <laughs> Um, this is a monoprint. Monoprint means, again, one. You're only going to get one. And it's arranged, different shapes are arranged and then printed on the, on the uh, press. And the last one here is a woodcut. It's, I think in Venice I, I became really enamored with the, the crows that we have. And this little bright-eyed guy seemed to like to walk around spark and would come back and the next day would come back again so um, that's kind of in his uh, honor Venice. First thing we're doing is mixing up this ink so that it's the right consistency I think that's about right. Put a nice we're going to print this and this is called a brayer. This is the ink. And we ink up the brayer. It may look like the ink's going here, but it's not. It's going on the brayer. 
Fortunately, this is a double surface here. I'm going to ink up the object. I'm inking the back of it because it has more um, detail than the front. I think we're ready to go with this. I'm going to walk it over there to the press. Let's see what we get. Take the paper. Nice and inky. And it's going to come out on that side. Let's see what we get. nice. These are mono prints also and they're unique. A mono print is only one so you won't get the reproduction that you would get on a, on a woodcut. This is a mono print. It's actually um, acrylic. Uh, this is a um, silk etching, and it's made with, with um, stretching the silk or similar fabric over a um, rigid surface. Then you apply medium, gel medium, until finally you have a raised surface that can be printed from. And it took a few days, but um, I can, and this was printed in red and then in black. So it has kind of a depth to it that you wouldn't ordinarily have. But silk etching is really easy to do. And if you like to paint it all, you'll understand right away how easy it is. This is a lino cut, just one color lino cut. And um, it lends itself again to, you can add color to it or you can leave it black and white. I like this stark kind of black and white that it that it gives. These are pieces of kindergarten, pre-kindergarten children who do printmaking. And everyone is unique. And they at the end of the ten week period we had a portfolio portfolio for each child. And they they're just incredible. They had a great time, so did we. Well, I won't take it through the whole book, but they did such a good job. It was really fun to work with them. It's a kind of uh, introduction to the arts, and it, that's dance and uh, printmaking and poetry writing and um, theater that Spark has been able to give the uh, Los Angeles Unified School District. We work with um, children from preschool, uh, kindergarten, through, uh, I think it's eighth grade was the last uh, grade in that. And the kids are so um, enthusiastic. It's fun to see them working, uh, discovering what printmaking does. And then at the end of the year, we had um, a, a beautiful exhibit of everything that they had um, experienced. So that was, that's kind of a, a great way to culminate um, a 10 week period. They get to chance, they get a chance to see what each other has done as well as what they've done themselves. So I think as, uh, as soon as we get back to normal, if there is such a thing as normal anymore, um, hopefully we'll be able to offer the same experience that they get a chance to have. I, I, I really enjoy watching them grow like that. Spark has been an inspiration um, to all of us and then to me especially. Um, I just love to see people come in to um, experiment 
and discover uh, new things and they don't they come back which is kind of nice but they don't have to rely on having a mentor all the time they're on their own it's like setting them free I'm Kay Brown thanks for coming <laughs>